Hello friends. In this video, let me show you how to fix the site can't be raised issue. It's one of the popular issue. So if you're getting the issue like this, so I'll show you the different steps in this video. If that do not help, be sure to check the some more videos in the video description with the different sets of solution. One the either video, one the either sets of solution will definitely help you fix the problem. So guys, let's begin. The first step that you can follow. You have a network icon over here. You have a right click on it and open the network and internet settings. Once you open it, here you have change adapter option. Click on it. And then guys, here's the ethernet. Give a right click on it you can go to the properties once you click on properties select internet protocol 4 TCP IP version 4 so always watch the video in a full screen so that everything will be clearly visible internet protocol TCP IP version 4 click on properties Always choose automatically both IP address and DNS. If it is already automatically, try to use the following DNS server. Just make a note of it. It's 888.8.8.4.4. So it's a public DNS server. So it's a DNS server for Google. So you can use this DNS server so just make a note of it and you're going to type over here 8.8.8.8 8.8.4.4 and then click on ok click on validate settings open exit all right click on ok this should fix the problem if the problem is not solved follow the same steps come back to the same place choose everything automatically all right and then click on ok click on OK and go back so this was the first attempt that you can try in order to fix the problem the second attempt sorry guys the second step the first step and now the second step the second step here you have my computer or this PC give a right click and click on manage in a few seconds you'll see this now here you have Dix management click on Dix management wait for a few seconds sorry guys device manager click on device manager it's a device manager in the device manager here you have sorry guys network adapter give a right click on adapter and click on scan for the hardware change Give a right click on it, update the driver and scan for the hardware change. At first, a scan for the hardware change and update the driver. A scan for the hardware change and update the driver. So whatever option you have in the network adapter, follow the steps for all. Update the driver and scan for the hardware change. So this is the second step you can follow. Third step that you can follow. Make a note of it services.msc go to the search you gotta type run and then open the run you're gonna type over here services.msc as it is once you type over here services.msc click on ok wait for a few seconds and you're gonna see this window Everything is in alphabetical order. Come to the letter D and you're gonna see DHCP client. Always watch the video in a full screen, everything will be clearly visible. DHCP client. DHCP client. Select that and restart the service. Alright? Restart the service. Okay? Click on yes in order to restart the service. So restart the DSCP service and then check it back. This is the third step you can follow. 
the fourth step that you can follow the fourth step is a very common step go to the search and then you're going to type c md or you can type command prompt give a right click on it and run as an administrator click on yes this will open the command prompt now one by one you're going to type the command and press enter press enter key after typing each command in a command prompt one by one you're going to type each command in a command prompt and then you're going to press enter key at the end once you finish typing all the commands and pressing enter key after each commands you're going to restart your computer restart your computer finally and this is the fourth step that you can follow in order to fix the problem the site cannot be raised the fifth step that you can follow you can just copy this command sorry guys make a note of this command all right chrome colon double slash flags you just have to open the browser open the browser on the top in the url section you're gonna type it and click on enter restore everything to the default all right reset all to default and then just reset all to default and then click on relaunch now reset all to default and then click on relaunch now this is the fifth step that you can follow in order to fix the problem the sixth step that you can follow download the chrome download the chrome you can search for the chrome or you can get the chrome in your pen drive from your friend's computer download the latest version of the chrome and then you can reinstall the chrome in your pc following all these different six to seven steps will definitely fix your problem still the problem is not solved maybe the problem is with the website itself maybe its dns server is down right now maybe the owner of the site or the hosting provider may have disabled the website for some reason because of which the site cannot be raised so you cannot do anything from your case in that case you cannot do anything from your side so guys following all these steps will fix the problem if the problem is from your side be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share this video guys you can help out many other people have a good day catch you in the next video